This is our 301-6 turn lock. This is a standard turn lock that we've sold and made for decades. So what we've got is two sides. So generally what we do is we have a female side and we've got the male side components. So this part, the female side, is generally on the outside flap of the bag. So if you can picture it, the outside flap comes down, the male side is on the inside flap, that is gonna come through, it's gonna turn, and you're gonna lock the flap over the other side. So I'm gonna show you the basics on how to install this part into leather. If you're installing a ton of these, you're gonna find that there are efficiencies, you're gonna make little jigs and dies that is gonna make this a lot quicker. I'm gonna show you the basics. If this is the first time that you're making one, so here we go. I'm gonna start with this female side. So we're gonna to have to cut a small hole in order to accept this to come through. So what I'm gonna take here is a, is a brief measurement. I'm gonna go a little bit beyond. So we can see here, I'm gonna go a little beyond the hole. So we are looking at about, 11, oh, sorry, 16 millimeters tall by, again, cheated a little bit, by about 12 millimeters wide. So. 16 by 12, I'm gonna make a notch at one end, 16, okay. I'm gonna make a slice down through just the middle. It's gonna help me center. So now we've got a 12 millimeter. So put this on the six, make sure we're in the middle here. So. Actually, if I come back, we're making a 16. Then on the eight here is our center. And from the center for the 12, I'm gonna go on the six. Notch, and notch. You can go a little bit further out. I wouldn't cheat in too much. Okay, so I'm gonna make the incisions here. I'm gonna start, you can be a little bit of a round turn here. We've got our hole. Don't worry if it's a little bit rough. We're gonna hide that in the next step. So we've got this side. What I'm gonna do, and here's a little trick. To put it over it, make sure you're not seeing any hold on the outside and that you're seeing fully through on the center. So we're looking good. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this on the outside and I'm gonna just give a little bit of pressure. So you can see here, we've got our four indents around the side. So we're gonna make some slits here for the prongs. So make a slip there, make sure your angles are correct. Cut there, cut here, and cut here. Now, little trick, come from the backside to open up that hole, particularly if you're working with a little bit of a thicker leather. I'm working with about a five ounce. Okay. All right, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna insert. So as I'm pushing through, what I'm noticing is that I didn't make my cuts wide enough, so I've got a bit of a gap. So if that's the case, just pop it back out and make a little bit of a wider cut. Again, these taper, so it, can, it needs to be a little bit wider at the top or the, the front side, the grain side, as opposed to the back flesh side. So let's open these up a little bit more. All right, so now we've got a nice flush fit. Got a little bit of the prongs coming in through the backside. So we are going to take the washer for this side. This is gonna be placed in. Now these indents, as you can see, are indented down. We're gonna place that with the indents down. That way we can bend the prongs in on them. Now, these are a little bit short for me with this thick of leather. So what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to grab a pair of pliers and bend those down and over. So let me show you. All right, so we've got a pair of needle nose pliers. Now you can see these are serrated. So you don't wanna be clamping down on both sides because that will scratch. So I'm gonna put a little bit of a protective layer. I'm gonna come down and just kind of force your way forward, cheat it forward. There we go. First one's installed. Add a little more pressure. So not too much pressure because you gotta do all sides, don't forget, and come back around. So another trick, if you don't have pliers, you can lay this down and get a 
flathead screwdriver. And again, just a little bit of pressure down. And we're gonna bend these around. All right, so we've got all sides down. We are ready for the next step. Take the male side. Let's place this in the center here. So again, this side we don't have to cut a hole. So again, a little bit of pressure. Got our two indents. Come from the back side. Open that up from here. See if those are wide enough. Not quite. You can see it's got a bit more taper. Kind of like cutting wood. You want to start with a small cut and get bigger. You don't want to go too much because then it can shake around. So this looks a little better. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to install this washer. This also has an indent, as you can see here, and we're going to place this side in the middle. Okay, so this side you can't really place on the table because it's quite tall. So you can start with your fingers pushing down. That's what I'm going to do here. So that's as much as I got it down there, but we need to get it down a little more. Suggest a screwdriver method. Get it on the corner and then just, again, a bit of pressure down. Okay, there we have it. This side is installed. All right, so we've got the two sides installed. So, female side comes over, twist and lock it. So just like a bag, if this was your top flap, you'd unlock, flips up, open the bag, close it down, lock. So, one other point I wanna make is if you're installing these 3016 turn locks on fabric, I suggest getting some interfacing. Or if you're using just a lightweight material, interfacing acts like a non-terrible material, so, when you make the cuts through, if you put interfacing down to begin with, it's going to allow it to have longevity. It's not gonna tear with use. So one more thing I wanna show you is the difference between our 3016 that we just installed and our 4016. So the 4016 is actually installed with rivets on this side. So you can see here it's got a washer and rivets, whereas the 3016 has the prong backs. The other side actually is exactly the same. And so it comes down to your aesthetic. If you prefer rivets or prong backs, or if you're using a liner, not a liner. But that's how you set our 3016 turn lock.